The Eritrean leader, Isaias Afiyoki, is one of the participants in the India-Africa Forum Summit that starts in New Delhi on Thursday, 29th October. Eritrea, a small country of 6.5 million people, is located on the coast of the Red Sea in a region known as the Horn of Africa. Following its de jure independence in May 1993, Eritrea has been ruled by one man and one party, Isaias Afiorki. He is Eritrea's first elected head of state after a United Nations sponsored referendum. The country imposes what is known as indefinite conscription, where all its citizens, including men and unmarried women, are conscripted into mandatory national service. Besides indefinite conscription, the Afiyoki's government is also known to impose severe restrictions on practicing religion other than those recognized or controlled by the government, including Sunni Islam, Ethiopian Orthodox, Catholicism and Lutheranism. Violations by citizens are punished with arrest. Eritrea has been described as the worst place to be a journalist repeatedly finishing in the bottom of the Reporters Without Borders Press Freedom Index. The Refugee Crisis The exodus has seen nearly 5% of the Eritrea's population leave the country since 2003 when the exodus began. As of December 2014, there are as many as 377 Eritrean refugees, with nearly 53,662 of those seeking asylum in other countries. Indo-Eritrean relations According to the Ministry of External Affairs, India's bilateral trade with Eritrea was around 244.73 million in 2014 and 15. India is also among the highest exporters to Eritrea along with Italy and the UAE.